stock trading at an all-time high. Investors are hopeful for more good news from the Maverick Automaker, which just opened its fifth factory in Shanghai, and from founder and CEO, Laser Griffin himself. Is someone there? Get me the fuck out of here! I know somebody's there! Fucking say something! Hello, Laser. I need you to take a seat. Who's there? Please sit. Where the hell am I? I need you to take a seat. I think I'll stand, thanks. Who the fuck are you? Sit, Mr. Griffin. What the hell is this all about? I don't think you're going to like the answer. Sit. You're about to embark on the most important 90 minutes of your life. Everything you do, everything you say, every move you make will determine your fate. You should also know that here, in the box, there are two ways out. An easy way, and a hard way. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I said no more stupid questions. <sighs> Look, asshole. I just woke up in a random room, handcuffed to a chair with no idea how I got here. If you ask me, I'm asking some pretty good fucking questions right now. Like I said, an easy way and a hard way. The easy way, a game of sorts. Complete 12 simple tasks in sequential order before the allotted time of the clock runs out. And the other way? What, are you gonna kill me? Why are you doing this? More questions. Already not following directions. Not a great start. This is gonna be a joke. Sean? Oh, you dickhead. You really had me going there, man. This was good. Not as good as the camel in your bathroom on New Year's, but you got it. <laughs> All right. Kudos. <laughs> Open the door, you dick. Sean. Open the door, Sean. Come on. 
Enough is enough, man. Come on. I am not sure. God damn it, Sean! Open the goddamn door! Enough is enough! I am not sure. And who the hell are you? You must know who I am. And if you do, then you gotta know my people are coming for me. They already know I'm missing. They're coming for me. They're gonna find me. The game will begin as soon as you pick up the mark on your left. I'm excited for what we're about to accomplish together. Fuck you. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Each time you disobey me, you'll receive a shock. Now please, go to the night table so we can begin. We don't have all day. <laughs> what lovely stationery you have. <laughs> wow. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot. There's also a third way out of the box. The easiest of easy ways. Maybe you'll lead with that next time. I'll do it. Just tell me. You would need to write a confession. A confession? An admission of guilt. It's very simple. And this can all be over. I have nothing to confess. I've done nothing but push science and technology forward. I've created countless jobs. You don't have shit on me. I do know what you really want, though. And it's not some bullshit confession. You want money. And money, I can give you. See, believe it or not, we actually have a set aside for this kind of thing. So go ahead, give me a number. Very well. You've made your choice. Now begin. Are you fucking deaf? I said, give me a number. We can all go home, forget this ever happened. This isn't about money. Come on. It's always about money. If I were you. I would stop right now. You're wasting time. I can't believe I'm doing this. Where do we start? At the beginning, number one. I'm not drinking this shit. It's alcohol. I don't drink, and I certainly don't drink rancid shit. You're an alcoholic. I was. So what changed in you? I conquered it. How long have you been sober? 10 years. Are you sure about that? Christmas 2012. You're lying. Oh. <sighs> Fine. There have been times, a few times, when I slipped. That's what I thought. But I'm sober now, and I want to stay that way. Drink. No fucking way! Don't try my patience. Each time you disobey me, the shock will become more painful. You must complete Fine. the task. Thank you. Great. What is 
did you put in that drink? Is that what this is gonna be? A bunch of childish games? You're pathetic! On to the next one. Task number two. If you want me to keep playing along, you're gonna to have to be a little less FUCKING CRYPTIC! Cut for time. You know what? I'm good. I'm just gonna wait for my people to find me. Was hoping you'd say that. What? You're going to sweat me out? The human body will start to exhibit signs of heat stroke once it reaches an internal temperature of 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Great. Biology 101. The heat set to about 130 degrees. Without water or ventilation, the body will begin to fail in as little as 90 minutes. It will become lethal in as little as two hours. Yeah, well, I did Paris to Dakar. It was 130 for almost a week. If you cooperate, we will discuss turning the heat down before you actually die. You're insane. I'm not the person to fuck with. Neither am I. Okay, if you want me to keep going, you're gonna have to turn the heat off. I don't do heat well. Paris to the car. Fuck you. Cut for time. Cut for time. What's next? Ah! <laughs> What now? Complete the tasks in order. I just did. Uh. Insufficient. Cut for time! You son of a bitch! You want me to cut myself? Is that it? And I can't! I'm not going to hold your hand through this. I can't. You will. You endlessly inflict pain on others. Now you will inflict it on yourself. Show me the love. I'm here to help you today. I'm here to show you how much of a lover and sack of shit you really are. You're doing to yourself what you've done to your workers. You have a long track record of treating people poorly. The same people who make you very rich. What are you talking about? Does the name Eddie Ramos mean anything to you? Of course it doesn't. But it will. Do you remember 
Brady Brothers? No. So then you know your attorney has fought Mr. Reynolds tooth and nail. It's called loss mitigation. Standard business procedure. You think losing an arm is standard procedure? Answer me. Accidents happen. Yes, they do. Especially in your factories. Do you know how many workers have been injured in your plants within the last year? No, I don't have those numbers on me. Over 1,200 on-the-job injury claims have been filed. You've paid out on less than 10% of those. But this isn't just about money. It's about the human toll. The enduring pain that you cause. Do you know what finally happened to Mr. Ramos? My guess. We settled. In a tragic ending to a tragic story, Eddie Ramos, former employee of Alaric Auto, set fire to his home today in an apparent suicide. This only days after Ramos lost his final court appeal for just compensation for injuries sustained on the job. I had nothing to do with that. Of course you'd say that. Dig deeper. For Mr. Ramos. I'm not cutting my arm off. I remember now. I know who you are. That bitch Sarah Keller. The lead of Larrick in-house legal on that case. Thought your people handled the Ramos case to your satisfaction. Oh, well, they did. But you wanted me to pay that asshole. His whole claim. Because you were too ignorant to be able to actually do your fucking job. What do you think just compensation would be for the loss of an arm? I'm so glad I fired your ass. And so you know, I made sure that everyone knew what a shitty lawyer you actually were. You've never respected women, have you, Lisa? But let's put a pin in that for now. No pun intended. Please, continue with the next task. By the way, I am definitely not Sarah Keller. <laughs> Unreal. Just wait, it gets better. Are you enjoying this? I may not know who you are, but I know your type. You think you've outsmarted the 1%, so you kidnap me. Only you're too chicken shit to even show your fucking face. Just know that I find pure joy knowing that you'll never be like me. Like I said, you fucking psychopath, my friends are coming for me any minute. And when they do, you're dead. I'd save you a lot of trouble if you just open that fucking door. I just find it all very amusing that you believe your life is so valuable, so important, that I should just let you go. It's true. I know that's what you think, but I beg to differ. Quite the feeling, isn't it? How the power dynamic has shifted. Now you're the one that has to live in uncertainty, in fear. Not knowing what's going to happen next to you or your important and valuable life. Can you repeat that? Only this time in fucking English, please. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about your pathetic, drunken, entitled displays of self-righteous grandiosity. That's why I gave up drinking. Until recently. We've moved on from that addiction. That was just for openness. To wet your palate, so to speak. I'm talking about other addictions of yours. You think you are untouchable. And for your whole privileged life you have been. But not anymore. Have it ended today. <laughs> I get it now. You're that wannabe eco-terrorist group, aren't you? 
Black Spring, right? You fucking morons. I'm trying to save the world with my company. And you small-minded, myopic idiots have no clue what it takes to actually make the world spin. I touched a nerve. Of course you would accuse me of being something I'm not if it made you feel better about yourself. You're incapable of feeling guilt, or shame, or anything, really. You don't know me. Of course I do. I know you've used your power one too many times to get yourself out of trouble. And you've never once felt any sort of remorse for any of those things you did. Why don't we let that simmer for a while? Don't worry, I'll be back to check up on you at some point. If you're lucky. So I was an asshole! Fucking sue me! Is that what this is all about? That's the big confession you wanted out of me. None of that warrants being tormented in a prison by a fucking psychopath. Fine, you want to be Jigsaw. Just wait you out. Hey, buddy. You wouldn't have the you know, anything that you use in here, would you? Cheeseburger, bag of chips or something. our consumers come first. The most important thing that we can do is ensure their safety. And that's why our engineers go above and beyond the recommended NHTSA standards. Well, that's a load of shit now, isn't it? What would you know about cars? More than you think I do. Let's get to the next task. I believe we're on number three. Fuck you! Ah! <sighs> Try not to lose your cool. That's impossible. This heat. Just a taste of what you'll feel in hell. Be new evil. For 
years, your mouth has allowed Alaric Auto to flourish based on the lies you perpetuate. Everything I said in that ad is true. I think it is time to shut you up. I dare you to prove otherwise. Staring down the bracket? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Don't make me. It was a 45 cent part. You decided to save an extra five cents. That wasn't me. That was an engineering decision. As CEO, you ultimately bear the responsibility. Every decision rests with you. How many Alaric owners died for five cents? Only three people know about that racket. I guess now there's four who know. Soon, the whole world will know. But for now, I'll to touch the ring. I can't. This is insane. You're insane! Play by the rules. I can't. No. no. Fuck. No. Of course you can. You're the easy question. Important man. Valuable man. Where's that can do spirit? Speak no evil. Come on, you you can't seriously be asking me to. You expect me to put the stapler up to your mouth. No, I can't. I can't. No. Please. This is the easy way, Nason. You don't want the hard way. Push both of your lips through the opening. <sighs> Again. to the next task. Task number four. Just 
You'd at least tell me who you were if you weren't such a fucking coward. And what would be the fun in that? Besides, you might not like the Did you kill my dog? Answer me. Of course I didn't kill your dog. How could I? <laughs> I find it very interesting that you care about your dog more than any other person in the world. More than your friends, Stop. your colleagues, more than your daughter. Shut up! Mistake. This guy thinks I did something I didn't. <laughs> He's fucking torturing me. You gotta get me out of here. He probably did the same to you, didn't he? We can help each other. Yeah, we can. We can get each other out. Come on. Come on. 
can't leave me, come on. Do you know who I am? I'm Laser Griffin. I can get you a lot of money if you get me out of here. Yes, yes, get me out, thank you. Who the hell was in here? There was someone in there. Cut the shit. Oh, I guess you were awake after all. Who was it? My associate. So there is a way out of here. Laser, silly man. I've already told you there are no ways out of here. It's okay. Take you. Fool me once and all that shit. You need it. I'm not ready to lose you. Not yet. How did you get that? Very easily. Well, you can't be my ex-wife. She's not smart enough to put all this on. How much did you pay her for it? Not one cent. It's awfully convenient that you used the part that makes me look like an asshole. Not the years of hell she put me through with the divorce. So you did nothing wrong? <clears throat> I'm sure I did. And so did she. Ever think about rising above the occasion? Now you do sound like her. Never mind. I knew the answer to that was no. And that's why you're here. Back to your ex-wife. What about her? Would you say your treatment of her is exemplary of how you treat women in general? I treat people how they deserve to be treated. Let's see about that. What does he have to do with any of this? You have a press conference today. Yeah. We're opening a new plant in Youngstown. Creating 2,000 jobs in the Rust Belt. How wonderful. Except, what if that's not what your press conference is going to be about now? Would you just spit it out? What are you talking about? What if the letter that your CFO, Sean, is reading right now is a letter that I sent him? A letter about your very bad behavior. 
bad behavior. Toward women. I don't know what you're talking about. Make your ex-wife. You find women disposable. You treat them like things. Like objects. Instead of people. I'd like you to confess this. We've been over this. I have nothing to confess. I'm sure. Whatever lies you put in that letter, Sean will never betray me. Betray you? I thought you'd done nothing wrong. Confession time, Lazar. You think one letter can turn our press conference into an expose? Bingo. And I don't need to lie, Lazar. You abuse people. Women in particular. God, will you fuck off with that Me Too shit? I've never abused anyone. You seem to have very different ideas of what it means to abuse. You're awfully judgy, Mr. Perfect. The thing about men like you, you actually believe your bullshit. In your mind, you've never been the monster in someone's nightmares. You've always been the guy everyone wants to be around. I can't fucking breathe. It's too hot. Can't take the heat, laser. Just let me out of here. Six. <laughs> I said six. I fucking heard you. Congratulations. What do you want me to confess? What do you want me to confess? I'll admit anything you want. Just tell me. Anytime I over someone at work or yelled at my wife, whatever the fuck Sean just read, I'll admit it. I did it. I confess, okay? I did it. I fucking did it. I can't tell you what to confess, Lisa. Otherwise, it's not a confession. But I'll give you a hint. Sean is probably calling the police right now, and they will be at your house if you live through this, unless you confess. I can stop, Sean. It's your only way out. Are you fucking with me? No. So if I just confess, you'll let me go? Something like that. And Sean won't know.
now finite in blood. See no evil. No. Fuck you, that's too far. Sick man. I have abused my power. There was a woman at work who knew too much. I just wanted to scare her to keep her quiet. It went too far. Something happened to her. I just played your game. I wrote your fucking confession. At least turn the fucking hot air off! That cold air must feel pretty good for you right now. Enjoy it while you can. I'm going to need more details on your new confession. Otherwise, it's worthless. Bet you're missing that hot air right now. Such a shame. If you had half a conscience, you'd realize the world would be a better place without you. Do you ever think about that? Sometimes? In those moments? When you're exposed and vulnerable? Wouldn't things just be better if you ended it all? Huh? You should end it. Right now. Right here. All the people you've hurt and screwed over, they would feel so much better. So much safer. Don't you think? No. I'm getting out of here. And the first thing I'm going to do is find you. And then sex is going through your fucking school. If that's your plan, you better find seven. Fuck seven. Hey. What do you want me to do with this? What, you got no long-winded monologue to go along with this one? Beware of hepatitis B, C, something like that? No? Okay. Well. There. I stabbed myself and you didn't even ask. Where's eight? Wasn't hard enough for you? You want me to stab out my other eye? Do you remember the 2012 Alaric Autumn New Year's Eve party? All your buddies were there. Holy shit. 
You work for El Hercado. <sighs> Fuck me twice. We're finally getting somewhere. 2012 was a great year for Ferret. The launch of the new roadster killed all of the sales projections. Music was bumping, caviar, champagne flowed. If I remember correctly, you had a glass or two. That was the last time I drank. You mean the last time you told people you drank? Yes, we were over that already. Do you remember a beautiful woman in a red dress? Let me refresh your memory. You couldn't take your eyes off her. A new hire straight out of war. That's summer. You wasted no time going over to her. You made sure she knew who you were. What you could do for her. Remember her name now? Eliza. Eliza what? Eliza Beckett. What did she tell you that night? She was funny, actually. She said that one day she was going to take my job. And what did you say to her? I said a woman could never do my job. Interesting. I was joking. We were flirting. Light art is flirting. Sure. But as I recall, that escalated quickly. She knew I was CEO of Alaric. We both knew what she was doing. And I'm sure at the time I said something that would have got me canceled today. But it was different then. So you think it was just something that you may have said to her? I don't know. Yes. Fucking lie. I'll never talk to a girl like that again. I told you that. This isn't about words. This isn't about thoughts. This is about action. Deeds. Violent deeds. Violent deeds? You think I hit her or something? Hitting someone is not the only way to inflict violence. You know that. You're going to use the needle and ink to tattoo something on your arm. You're going to mark yourself. A word. Think of it as a scarlet letter. This way, you will never forget what you are. And no one else will, either. And what am I exactly? You're going to tattoo the word rapist on your arm. Is that what she told you? Eliza told you I raped her? Are you Eliza? I am not. What we did was consensual. Yes, there was a power dynamic at play, but she fucking wanted it. Women love that shit, whether they admit it or not. This tattoo will serve as a warning for anyone you meet in the future. I'm not gonna fucking do that, okay? Shut the fuck up! Fucking crazy. Listen to me. No. Listen! Okay? Just talk to Eliza. I, I was drunk. I, uh, I didn't rape her, okay? And if I did anything wrong, I'm sorry, but that was a decade ago. The clock is ticking.
events of my day. By the way, about that easel. Don't worry, I'm sure that needle was just fine. I just want to go home. You turned it off. If we're going to continue playing, you'll need your strength. If you like seven, you're absolutely going to love eight. There's nothing left you can do to hurt me. Come on, Lisa. Don't be like that. I'm already dead. You know what? I'm gonna go easy on you. Let you rest. Movie time. Sean would have never given that to you. It was consensual. She, she, she wanted it. Now means fucking no. You took her sense of self. Her place in the world. For what? So you can get off. Cheat on your wife. Show everyone what a big man you are. That's not how I remember it. Oh, no, no, no. It's all real. I didn't have to do a thing. You deep faked that, didn't you? That's not real. Moving on to task number nine. It's true. I'll do anything. Write another confession. A real one. This one will be signed in ink. For real. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. So sorry, Ruby. It's over. Not quite. I confessed. The easiest of easy ways, remember? We're done. That was before Ruby came tonight. Watch. And is there anything you'd like to say to the people listening? Please, if there is any information about Ruby, if anything at all, I just want to see my baby girl again. I want to hug her, tell her how much I love her. I want to be a lover. You don't know what this is like. I must admit, you caught me off guard with your confession. Nothing was supposed to happen to her. She was snooping around where she didn't belong. They were only supposed to scare her. You did more than that, didn't you? I swear nothing was supposed to happen. What could she have possibly stumbled upon? Maybe it was about the five dollar savings on the back deck. The price he decided to put on other people's lives. That's a nice way to do You're no fucking saint. I'm only doling your justice to a man guilty of his own heinous acts. I've already confessed to it, okay? So make sure that gets to the press. I deserve to go to jail, but I don't deserve this! Nobody does! You deserve to rock. Look what wealth and money have done to you. Money doesn't change people. It only amplifies what's already there. I give you my confession. If you're not gonna let me go, I'm just gonna have to fucking beat you. So give me f No! That's the spirit. Check under the desk. This one should be fun.
Don't do this. Please. She has nothing to do with this. No! After all this, you just want me to hang myself. Don't you recognize it? Oh, that's right. Knowing you, you've probably never even been there. What do you mean? She's beautiful, Laser. When's the last time you even talked to her? It's been years. She grew up fatherless. But look, she turned out just fine. Don't touch her. I won't, as long as you continue to follow my instructions. Pretty sure you pay for that nice house in the hills, right? Oh, please, Laser. Like you give two shits about being a parent. Your arrogance, narcissism. Like everything else in your life, it's just an extension of you. In your eyes, she'll never be her own person. That's not true. She's amazing. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Really? How many birthdays did you miss? How many recitals? School plays? All the cliches. My life's been consumed with work. That's all you've ever cared about. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't finish the rest of the task, I'll send a friend over to your precious daughter's place to take care of her. Just like you took care of Ruby. It's not that I want to, but honestly, you leave me no choice. You're so close. The rope is attached to a time-triggered wire that will unlock box 12 after 30 seconds. This is your way out. Box 12. You'll hang for 30 seconds. You'll think about all you've done. Then if you can, you'll grab a knife from box 12. What if I miss it? Don't. This is fucked. The clock is ticking. Do it. done. 90 minutes, 12 tasks. I am as bad as you say I am. If you do even let me out of here, They'll just throw me in a cell anyway. As it should. You reminded me that there's one person left in my life that I truly love. My Amy.
little girl. If this news gets out, her life is over. She will forever be known as her father's daughter, as the monster's child. The much-anticipated Alaric Auto Presser for this afternoon has been postponed. It's being reported that CEO Laser Griffin is delayed on his return trip from Shanghai. Amy? Is that you? I made your favorite veggie burgers. Save me, I can't escape this box, deliver me. 